In this video, I wanted to show you how to add custom profile fields in your app community and BuddyPress app. So if I log in to my app and I click on my profile, you'll see that I get, um, you know, some information here, my handle, you know, my, my nickname, my avatar, things like that. But uh, there's also these fields called extra profile fields in BuddyPress that you may be using and you may want these in the app. So I'm going to show you how to edit, add those and they'll also be editable. So in your BuddyPress installation, make sure that under the uh, BuddyPress settings that you have the extended profiles checked. And then once you do that, logged in as an admin, you can go to users profile fields and you should see all of your extra profile fields here. So for example, I have name, I have um, what's your favorite color, your favorite movie. So now, all I want to do is I want to get those into the app. So what you can do is look up the, uh, if you go to our documentation, then we're going to look up app community hooks and filters. Under the sample code, you'll see there's add custom profile fields. So we're going to click that. And that's going to take us to a code sample that has the uh, code for how to do this. So what we're going to do is just copy and paste this into a WordPress plugin. And it just has to be active. The plugin just has to be active on your site. So this cannot be in a theme functions PHP file. It has to be in a plugin that's active. So um, let's go ahead and paste that in. I'm going to get rid of this top part because I don't want that. All I'm going to do is try to show these X profile fields that I have. You'll see in our sample code, we have uh, we're actually getting two fields. We're getting field one and field two. And what we're doing is displaying the first, we're displaying the field name. And then second, we're displaying the data. So when that shows up in our app, it should say name and then my name. And then it should also say favorite color and color. So um, the field ID, you can actually get, if you want to use a different one, it should be um, like one, two, or three. But if you need to check on that, you can click on edit and then look up in the address bar and it should say field ID equals at the very end of the address. And that is the ID of the field. So if I go ahead and save this, and this is an active plugin on my site, so this code is taking effect right away. What that's going to do is add the API data to the response when we get this user's profile information. So now you'll see that I have name Andre and favorite color is blue. And in the app, you can actually edit these profile fields. Um, so you can click on them to ed edit them and um, fill these out. So you can also edit the avatar right here. And that will only work in the app because you do need access to the device camera. But you can change that there. And then we can see um, that our profile fields are being updated here. I'm not displaying the third profile field here. But if I wanted to add that, I could copy and paste the one of these profile fields. and uh, I could copy it and then paste it. I'd change the ID to three, save that, and then let's go back and refresh this page. And now you'll see that it has my favorite movie here, Elf. Um, you can also display these in a different area. So for example, if I have this under the user actions area, if I want it to be at the very bottom, I could do below content. You could also do above content if you want it to be above this image up here. So if I refresh that, you'll see that now my profile fields are down here. And you can obviously add HTML, like a heading that says, you know, user profile fields or whatever it is that you want. And those fields are editable. And again, you edit those in the extra profile fields area of WordPress.